Hi, my name is Clay Kimsey. I work here at the Bicycle Sports Shop in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to do some disc brake bleeding, specifically on a Shimano XTR 975 uh, disc brake. Um, it's important to bleed your disc brakes so that uh, your brakes are working well and you stay in control while you're riding the, the trail. Uh, this particular brake definitely needs a brake bleed, as you can see. The uh, lever goes all the way to the handlebar. It's not going to work for good braking performance. So let's uh, bleed this disc brake and fix this problem. Uh, the tools you need for this particular job are pretty simple actually. We're going to start with a uh, flat and Phillips head screwdriver, a uh, 7mm box wrench, a uh, Shimano disc brake spacer, and two syringes, one with a hose to attach to the bleed nipple, and some Shimano mineral oil. I really recommend Shimano mineral oil for Shimano disc brake systems. It's designed to work with it and offers the best performance. All right, the first step, we're going to go ahead and remove the brake pads uh, from the caliper. You know, if you get a drop of mineral oil or dot fluid on your brake pads, it'll contaminate them, and then you'll have to get a new set of pads. So for safety's sake, let's go ahead and remove these pads. You want to first remove the safety clip, and then very simple flathead screwdriver. Removes the pad retaining pin. and these brake pads easily come right out the top. You can now put the plastic pad spacer in, the bleed block. This part is important because it resets the pistons all the way back in the caliper bore and allows for the proper volume of mineral oil to go into the brake so you get the right amount of lever throw. We can hold that part back in with the uh, pad retaining pin. So now that the caliper is ready to go, let's prepare the brake lever. And to do so, we want to remove the reservoir cap. Two simple Phillips head uh, screws. Let's unscrew these guys. And this is going to expose the reservoir for the mineral oil. Reservoir cap, rubber bladder, and now where the mineral oil resides. So now we're ready to bleed the disc brake. We need to fill our first syringe up with a plastic tubing with mineral oil. In this particular syringe, I'm going to fill up with maybe about 30 cc's. We're going to purge all the bubbles from this syringe. Now we're going to grab our 7 millimeter box wrench. We're going to attach the hose to the bleed nipple on the caliper. And a nice tight fit will ensure that the syringe is not we're going to fall We're going to grab our 7 millimeter box wrench and attach it to the bleed nipple. And attach the hose with the mineral oil to the bleed nipple. And you want a nice tight fitting hose here so that it can support its own weight and not fall off. And when you're bleeding this brake, when you open the bleed nipple, you want to open it about a quarter turn. If you open it more than a quarter turn, it's possible that you can get too much fluid flowing in past the threads and leak onto the caliper. If you have it closed too much, you're not going to let enough mineral oil flow through the brake. It's open about a quarter turn and I'm going to go ahead and start pushing some hydraulic fluid into the system. Push about five to ten cc's into the into the brake. Once I push about five to ten cc's, what I want to try and do now is create a vacuum inside the caliper. If you simply just push fluid, there's small tiny crevices inside the caliper that a bubble can get trapped. If we withdraw fluid, it'll create a vortex and sometimes suck those bubbles out of there and give you really good brake bleed. So now I'm going to withdraw on the syringe creating a vacuum. You can see little tiny bubbles coming out and those are the ones we want to get out before we do bleed the rest of the hydraulic lever and line. 
so I pulled back at about another five cc's or so. I think the caliper is nice and full of fluid, no bubbles. And so now I simply want to push fluid from the caliper through the hydraulic line up into the reservoir. And as I do this, I'm going to rock the caliper around a little bit to make sure I get all the voids filled up. So once we've completed bleeding the caliper, let's take a look at this uh, hydraulic lever, which is when you're going to grab your, your other syringe. And this, the function of this syringe is to withdraw the overflow from the lever. So as I push on this uh, hydraulic fluid, filling the lineup, you're going to notice the reservoir level starts to come up and tiny bubbles start to come out. And so you want to pass a good portion of this lower syringe through the disc brake to make sure there's no bubbles left over in the line. You can take this opportunity now as you're pushing fluid to perhaps tap this hydraulic line, make sure all the bubbles are out of it. The whole time I'm still pushing hydraulic fluid up from the caliper. And as I'm filling the reservoir, I'm getting solid mineral oil with no bubbles. That means we have a good bleed on the system. I'm going to go ahead and fill the reservoir all the way to the top now. And before I disconnect the syringe from the caliper, I want to just go ahead and close it, not completely tight, and give us a little test here with our bleed block and see how firm the lever is. That lever's feeling pretty firm now. You can see that there's a couple bubbles coming up in here. It's the last little leftover bubbles that we can pump out through the lever. Good trick with a Shimano is to flick the brake lever and that'll agitate those last bubbles and let them come up through the uh, reservoir. So that lever's feeling nice and firm now. We're going to go ahead and close off the bleed nipple, remove the syringe. Make sure the reservoir is topped off 100%. You want it all the way full to the top so that when you install the reservoir cover, it will overflow and that's okay. You definitely want the fluid level completely full. Retighten our two Phillips head screws. And the last step with all good brake leads is you want to go ahead and clean the brake lever up. Spray a little isopropyl alcohol on the brake lever. Wipe down all that mineral oil. Do that on the caliper as well. Need to finally replace the brake pads. Remove the bleed block. Brake pads go in from the top. Reinstall the safety pin, and finally put in the pad spacer, test your brake, nice and firm, ready for an install on the bike and time to ride.